Today's video is all about revising points for students on appearances. We'll cover how to revise the daily sheet, the daily procedure you should follow, and why you should move on from the WizRadius app, which is for beginners. And I will also cover the most important aspects of your day-to-day point-to-point revision. My name is Dean Warrington, and I am the founder of Wizan Knowledge School. Before we get into today's video, I need to ask for your help and support on one very important aspect. The making of the WizPoints app and the compiling and collecting of the information to go on this app cost thousands. John is outside TFL no matter the time or weather. Wizan spent $50,000 to create the app and every update or amendment we make costs a further $3,000. The schools do not make a profit from this service and may never make a profit if things do not improve. It's our hope and intention to make a profit and that is why we've invested so much time and effort to work tirelessly to make this app make your life easier. If you're not using the app because it costs one pound per day, then you are running on a false economy. The app taking care of your revision alone will save you hours per week and saving time is money. That does not include the speed at which you can make bike lists or the speed at which you can reference questions. Every time a person shares or plagiarizes the sheet because you are unwilling to pay one pound for that information, you contribute to its demise or create a price increase for those that are paying. I will also add, one day you will be driving a cab, hopefully, and one day a person will leave your cab without paying for the service you provided. And on that day, you will not be happy. But I ask you to then think back to all the times you did not pay for your point sheets. Because technically, you are no different than the person who bilks the fare. So please, stop sharing the sheets on WhatsApp groups and everywhere else you're doing it because you want to save one pound. Let's cover some facts about points. Points are different to runs in the sense that they will go in your long-term memory, unlike the runs which will need constant revision over time. Now saying that points will go into your long-term memory is fine as long as you understand the process to get them there. They do need revision. It's that revision process that people get wrong and take very long-winded ideas and use extraordinarily difficult techniques in their attempts to achieve their goals. The other thing is that once they are in your long-term memory, you do not need to revise them to any real degree. And if you understand your statistical chances on appearances, you will know that you are better off revising your new points to get them up to the standard of long-term memory rather than revising long lists of points that you actually already know. Revise the daily sheet of points. This one aspect is seriously overlooked by many people, but it's one of the most important parts of your daily points revision. When the point sheet arrives in your app each day, you should revise the points on that sheet in their entirety. Don't filter the level and don't filter the times asked. You want to revise the whole list of points in the sheet. To do this, just tap the revise button in the sheet each day before you start your point to point session. Do this five days a week and always before you start doing point to point for the day. By doing this revision, you get to revise and remind yourself of the very popular and unforgettable points in the caliber of Paddington Station and BBC Rehearsal Studios. But what you're also doing is getting to see for the first time many of the points that are asked only once to 10 times. This enables you to start learning them without any real effort, but just using the subconscious. You will see that point once in this list, then you will see it again as you move through the sheet for point to point. If it then continues to come out over the week, you would have seen its answer and begun to be able to pretend that you know it just because you are becoming familiar with it appearing on the sheet. This is why it's absolutely crucial to do this sheet revision. It is something many of you do wrong or neglect. So do not filter anything on this particular daily sheet point revision. Revise all the points coming out that day. 
By doing this, you are not only beginning to learn new points, but you have also separated the points into known, doesn't need revising, unknown, needs to be visited and learnt, and sticky, needs extra revision. The unknown points are now being added and made ready on your bike list screen. This unknown list will shrink and grow as you point some and add some from each day's sheet. For efficiency purposes, it's good to always be 300 plus points in that list. Only really advanced students will get that list down to 50 points or so. Once you have done this, you should then do your point to point practice for the day. And what you will notice is that your sheet now has some colored points. If the point is blue, it has a note underneath it. To view the note for the start point, long press the question. To view the note for the end point, long press the answer. If the point is red, then it's a point you do not know. And therefore you should skip that question and work on the questions where you already know the start and finish point. There is not much value in practicing questions of points you don't know unless you have already completed the sheet of the questions where you knew the start and the finish point on all levels. Don't just revise the questions on your level. You can start with your level, but you should revise the questions for around three hours and you should aim to complete 50 to 80 questions with a partner, 25 to 40 questions each. Now I will tell you not to take notes and I will explain that in a future video about pointing from bike lists. But if you want to take notes, here is the best time to do it. When you answer a question and some extra information was researched and used for that question, then you can add that to the notes of the point here. Just long press the question to add notes for the start and long press the answer to add notes to the end point. Also, don't forget to mark your runs good, bad, penned or flagged. This is great when you want to try hard questions again later. You can look at all the questions you called badly and work on them. If you want to know more about the features in the sheet view, then check out the video on this channel. The link is on the screen now. Bike list revision. You need to set aside a time slot each day for your general points revision. And that general points revision should consist of revising bike lists and a further slot for sticky points. But first, revise bike lists. The points that need the most revision are the points you have seen most recently. It is only feasible to revise points lists of around 300 to 600 points a time in about an hour. This one hour slot needs to be found each day. So when you revise bike lists, you will revise however many days from the most recent going back in time that you will amount to 300 to 600 points. By doing this, you are making all the most recent points reach long term memory. Any points older than this range, if important, will appear on the daily sheets again in the near future. And you will get the opportunity to mark it as known, unknown or sticky. It's not feasible, viable or necessary to revise your known points. The hope is that they have reached long term memory. If they haven't, then when they reappear on your daily sheet point revision, you can remark them accordingly. If they don't reappear, then they're not being asked often enough to be considered important. And if coincidentally you get asked it on your appearance and you drop it because it's not being revised, then that's just bad luck because the revision and effort involved in maintaining and knowing that point is just unfathomable. You are more statistically likely to be asked something from recent times than from last year. You have a threefold daily revision process. First, revise the points from the daily sheet. Second, Revise your most recent three to 600 points from your bike lists. And third, revise your sticky list five times. So I mentioned your sticky list. Try to keep your sticky list under control. That is done by doing a five fold revision system daily. What does that mean exactly? 
Well, I revise the daily sheet and I get some sticky points and I revise my bike list and I get some more sticky points. I now revise the sticky list five times. I do that until the list is completed and then I start the cycle again and I go through the list and I mark them all again. By the fifth time, I should be getting every point correct. This five times repetition is going to help with the long-term retention of these points. Now this is the foundation and most important aspects of your points revision, taken care of. If you have the time and space and inclination to revise your known points, then go ahead. I will add, it's not necessary, but if it makes you feel better and you have the extra time, then go ahead and do it. But do not do it instead of this system that I just explained. Do it on top of that or not at all. Try to get your sticky list down to zero each day. That's the daily process for revising points. I hope to make a video shortly to cover the pointing aspect of these bike lists in which I'll repeat and cover again why you shouldn't take notes and the stopping every five points to revise similar to that in the Wiz Radius system. Thank you once again for watching. Wizam would like to thank you all for your support over this extraordinary time and hope these videos go some way to making your study regime easier and more efficient. The feedback we've had has been tremendous and very encouraging. If you'd like to see me make a video about anything in particular, please put it in the comments below. And if you have not done so already, please subscribe. See you again soon.